the day we have all been waiting uh -huh. for. Judy Frazier's Woolly Worm Report. Okay, and we just saw last year's annual Woolly Worm Report. How accurate were they last year? It was pretty darn accurate last year. As you recall, I said it was going to be an overall mild winter, which means, you know, not Florida mild, but certainly more mild than we, we expect. But we were going to have, I had to have the parkas out because we were going to get cold, and February was our polar vortex month. I love the snowbrella term you the created. The snowbrella, because yes. I said we're going to get precipitation, but not all in the form of snow. That we, we, we have to keep those umbrellas handy. And we did have a fair amount of rain, right? We did nine inches of rain for the for the season, which is a lot. If that was snow, it'd be 90 inches of snow. Oh my goodness! What was our rainiest month? I feel like December was pretty rainy because the snow. Yeah, didn't it was show rainy up. in December, January, uh, February. It was primarily snow because it was so cold, and we did get 15 inches for the season, 12 of which happened in February. So Remember that, that, that yep. was the parka time. Yep, keep yes. your parka handy. I am getting Umbrella. the feeling that so. that all is going to feel like San Diego compared to what <laughs> you're know. about to tell us. Well, because if you recall the numbers for the, the white-colored um, woolly worms last year, like in the 20s, right. this year in the 30s, right. Aaron was requesting a blizzard last year. <laughs> oh. Is safe requesting that again this year? A blizzard. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit more used to the snow. Okay. Excellent. No blizzard. The Georgia me. girl had her snow yeah. experience. It's no yeah. A novelty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Sounds let's review good. those percentages. Okay. So this year we saw. We saw. Oh, there's the, the persimmon. Oh, we, should, we definitely need to talk about those first, though. The actually. Pers persimmon seeds uh, that somebody opened. They're very difficult to open, but uh, as you can see, they're all smooth. Oh, does that one kind of look like a uh, knife, though, on the left? Yeah, this looks like a knife. This this is that kind of like forky. Like oh, forky. Got... <laughs> Careful. Uh, <laughs> But the rest of them are all spoons, which okay. is an indication that those are represent shovels, uh. and that means snow. <laughs> okay. Uh. I see where this is going. Yes, yeah. I've, I've been sort of seeing the writing on the wall for There's quite some our, time now. There's our okay. percentages. We had 20% of the brown, the orange, the beige, and the light tan. Uh, we had 30% of the white, the yellow, the gold, the pale, which is really huge for, for the yeah. white ones. You don't see that many of them. But we had a 50% uh, black and very dark brown. And there were a few that had the darker bands at the beginning and the end, but not enough to really filter my forecast. Ooh, so according, what are you telling us, Judy? To the coat, give it, let's give just it to rip us. the Band-Aid off. According to the <laughs> coat of the woolly worm, the forecast for this coming up winter is... Drum roll, please. Get out your woolies. Oh, oh man. Get out your shovels. <laughs> if the snowman's shivering, you know it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's like my nightmare. <laughs> a shivery snowman type of winter. Oh. So uh, we will see. 80% of the time, they're they're pretty much on target. 20% they're not. Oh, so it depends on, upon what you want. You know, if, you, if you're a snow lover, you're going to love this winter. Yeah. If so get out not, your woolies. <laughs> get out your woolies, dust off your shovels. So you did hear about my nightmare where I was covered yes, in black and brown woolly worms. So I, I'm thinking maybe... I there you go. So next year, instead of the woolly worm forecast, we're going to do the Aaron nightmare forecast. No. no. Let's leave it. I'm cracking up. Judy. Yes. Okay. I heard you say that yesterday, and I thought, well, if any time you want to be covered with woolly worms to keep you warm, this would be, this the, would winter. be the winter. All right. Good point. Oh, my goodness. Well, all right. I, I'm I mean, not, it is what it is. Think about all the kids who are probably super excited. Oh, yes. There's going to be lots of snow days now that school's back in, right. you know, session and... I'm just happy if it snows on Christmas and then I'm done. That me too. Christmas Eve to New Year's Eve, that's allowed. That's After right. that, let's go back yes. to the 60s if you All can. right, still to come here on CI Living, we're going to continue visiting with Judy. She's going to share some memories in connection with CI Living's, um, oh, I, I got jumped again, from Studio B. And Studio B is where we do CI Living every day, except for the last couple of months. And uh, we're going to just relive all sorts yes. of fun stuff as we and gear up for our 10th anniversary. Yes, that's what I'm going to say. See, I'll get that. <laughs>